James was a new engine who lived at a station at the other end of the line. He had two small wheels in front and six driving wheels behind. They weren't as big as Gordon's and they weren't as small as Thomas's. The fat controller told him, You're a special mixed traffic engine. You'll be able to pull coaches or trucks quite easily. But trucks are not easy things to manage. And on his first day, they pushed James down a hill into a hole. He'd been ill after the accident, but now he had new brakes and a shining coat of red paint. The fat controller was quite kind to James. The red paint will cheer you up after your accident. You can pull coaches today, and Edward can help you. So James and Edward went together to find the coaches. Be careful with the coaches, James. They don't like being bumped. Trucks are silly and noisy. They need to be bumped and taught to behave, but coaches get cross and will pay you out. They took the coaches to the platform. And were both coupled on in front. The fat controller, the station master, and some little boys all came to admire James's shining rods and red paint. James was so pleased. I'm a really splendid engine. I'm so excited. I feel like going... The fat controller, the station master and the guard all jumped and a shower of water fell on the fat controller's nice new top hat. Then the whistle blew and James thought they'd better go. So they went. Go on, Edward. Go on, Edward. Shh, 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 shh. Don't sh push. Shh. Don't sh push. Don't sh push. Edward didn't like starting quickly. Neither did the coaches. Don't go so fast. Don't go so fast. Don't go so fast. Don't go so fast. But James didn't listen. He just wanted to run away before the pat controller could call him back. He didn't even want to stop at the first station. And Edward had to say, James, James, stop at once. Even so, two coaches in front were beyond the platform before they stopped. And they had to go back to let the passengers out. Lots of people came to look at James. But as no one seemed to know about the fat controller's top hat, James felt happier. Presently, they came to the junction where Thomas was waiting with his two coaches. Thomas was pleased to see James. Hello, James. Feeling better? Yes, thank you. That's right. Ha! Huh. That's my guard's whistle. I must be off. Sorry I can't stop. I don't know what that fat controller would do without me to run his branch line. <laughs> Ta-da! 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 Ta-da!
and off he puffed with his two coaches into a tunnel. Edward and James pulled away from the junction. They passed the field where James had had his accident. The fence was mended and the cow was back again. James whistled at them, but they paid no attention. On went James and Edward, through Edward's station yard, and they started to climb the hill beyond. It's ever so steep. It's ever so steep. I've done it before. I've done it before. It's steep, but we'll do it. It's steep, but we'll do it. and the two engines puffed together as they pulled the train up the long hill. They both rested at the next station and Edward told James the story of how Gordon had stuck on the hill and he had had to push him up. James laughed so much, he got hiccups. He made so much noise, he frightened an old lady in a black bonnet, and she dropped all her parcels. James got quieter in his shed that night. He had enjoyed his day, but he was a little afraid of what the fat controller would say about the top hat. <laughs>